Hello, my name is Chris Vogel, and today you will learn the structure and parts of compound sentences and how to use them properly and effectively. A compound sentence contains two independent clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions or conjunctive adverbs. A comma usually precedes coordinating conjunctions, but in short sentences is not necessary. Conjunctions are parts of speech that join words, phrases, sentences, or clauses. Coordinating conjunctions include for, and, but, or, yet, and so. Typically, these are the only conjunctions that should separate two independent clauses. Conjunctive adverbs preceded by a semicolon use adverbs to join two independent clauses. Commas cannot separate two clauses joined by a conjunctive adverb. One example of a compound sentence is, I really want to go to work, but I am too sick to drive. This sentence contains two independent clauses, I really want to go to work, and I am too sick to drive, and combines them with a coordinating conjunction, but. Notice that both clauses could stand alone as their own sentences, I really want to go to work, I am too sick to drive. However, both of these clauses relate to each other. Another example is, we are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about what we pretend to be. This sentence appears complex because of its wording, but it contains two independent clauses, we are what we pretend to be, and we must be careful about what we pretend to be, joined by a comma and the conjunction so. The third example, Elaine wanted to high-five the friendly giant, consequently she had to jump to reach him utilizes a semicolon and a conjunctive adverb, consequently, to join the two independent clauses or simple sentences. Remember that independent clauses should be able to stand alone and contain a subject, verb, and a direct object, or noun. The use of a comma to separate two independent clauses without the addition of an appropriate conjunction is called a comma splice. Only appropriate conjunctions can adequately link and separate two independent clauses, coordinating conjunctions, conjunctive adverbs, semicolons, or sometimes colons. Not all sentences can or should be combined. For example, I went to the doctor and I hate rain are two clauses which do not have a logical relationship. Only clauses that relate to each other should be combined into a compound sentence. Compound sentences allow you to demonstrate relationships between two clauses. Being able to use these will show logical connections within your writing. Thank you for watching this video. For any question on your writing, please visit the Writing Center in W114.